This is a video screencast tutorial designed for new students at the School of Nursing Sciences and it gives you an overview of how to log into Blackboard and a couple of its main features. Before we go any further, when you're viewing this video in YouTube you may wish to change the resolution settings to make the video clearer. To do this, in the video window, the bottom right corner there's a cog. If you left click this, change the resolution up to 720p it will make the video a lot clearer especially if you're viewing it in full screen mode. Okay the first thing we need to do is to open up an internet browser and to enter the following address www.uea.ac.uk and this will direct you to the main UEA homepage. I've got an internet browser open here I'm just going to make it full screen and this is the main UEA homepage. Now to log into Blackboard you need to have completed your online registration. To do this you will have been sent an email by the UEA to the email address on your UCAS application form. It has details on how to log into the UEA's eVision site to complete online registration and a unique username and password. If you haven't received this email or if you're still struggling to complete online registration you can go to the current students and staff section and go to new students. On the left hand side there is a section new student checklist. Click this and the third option down is all about completing online registration. There's a step by step guide on how to complete online registration. There is a link here to the eVision site which you need to access to complete that registration. Uh, and if you're still stuck, there are some email addresses here on the right hand side which you can contact about registration uh, details, etc. Let's presume that you've completed your online registration, you can now access Blackboard. To do this, we go back to current students and staff, and this time we go down to current students' intranet page. This will redirect us to a login page where you put in your UEA username, which is the same uh, username in that eVision email, and your password. When you click on password, a verification image and phrase will appear, which is what you've set up so that you know it's a trusted site. Put in your password. There's a remember me checkbox here. Please only check this if it's a private computer and not a public one, say for example in the library, as people will obviously have access to your details then. So we're going to log in and it's going to redirect us to the main Blackboard site. Please note the first time you log in, this page will be greyed out and it'll have a welcome message with some arrows pointing to some new areas. These are new for the Blackboard system that the UEA has recently upgraded to. Uh, this welcome message will only happen the first time that you log in. So this is the main Blackboard page. This is the home page. You can see there's various pieces of information here. Uh, you can subscribe to different sites and uh, customize them by hovering over the right of these little tabs and uh, adding or removing different things, but we're not going to look at that today. The top left hand side, we've got different tabs to different areas of the Blackboard site. Okay, and the ones we're interested today in are email and academic, and these are the two that will actually get you started. And the other thing I want to bring your attention to is on the top right hand corner, there's a little grey rectangle with your name in. And if you click the arrow down, it opens up a quick link uh, menu with some uh, features in, so an overview, some posts, and other things like a calendar as well. So we'll look at that in a little bit more detail in a minute. So going back, we click on the email tab first and this is obviously going to redirect you uh, to a page on how to log into your UEA email. The top option is to actually log into the email address itself. The second option is to actually log into an anti-spam um, client that we use that runs parallel to your email address so it removes any spam from your account. So logging into email, it's going to redirect you to an outlet, Outlook web app. 
and you put in your same UEA username and password that you use to access Blackboard and you can then access your UEA emails. If anyone from the UEA needs to contact you, they will use your UEA email address rather than your personal address. So you do really need to get into the habit of checking your emails at least once every 48 hours to check for correspondence. So that's how you log into email. I won't log into email today. Um, and then the other tab that I wanted to look at is the academic tab. So when we click on this, this will give you lots of information about uh, the modules that you're enrolled on or the courses that you're enrolled on and other details uh, like your student view. Again you can see there's lots of information on this page. So the two areas I want to bring your attention to is the top left. It's to do with all the modules which you're enrolled on and you'll all be students enrolled on as students. Um, you can see here I'm enrolled on as an instructor for an operating department practice program. So I click on this and it redirects me to the specific area of Blackboard concerned with that module or that course which you're enrolled on. Now these are quite heavily customizable by the module instructors and lead leaders so it may look different to what you actually see on the screen now depending on how your instructor has set it up. So you can see here we've got some uh, links to module information, documents, so you may have uh, lecture notes and presentation documents that you have access to. We've got a forum here, some contact details. Again, it depends on how your specific uh, module or course has been set up. Okay, we go back to the academic tab. Um, there's details here about how to do library searches and stuff. I'm not going to cover that today. What I do want to have a look at is the student records section and there's a view called student view, although mine is staff view and this will redirect you to the student site. It's going to log me into the staff one so I'll just quickly go to student view and this is the page that you'll be presented with. Uh, the top left hand box is all to do with your personal advisor and how you contact your personal advisor. This is someone at the UEA who's assigned to you to help you with uh, assignments, anything that you might have um, concerns or issues with within the school or any personal uh, concerns that you might have as well. Um, again there's various options uh, but the two I want to look at are uh, the section all to do with assessments uh, and submission of assessments so you may ha might have a an assignment for example that you need to um, submit uh, an, an online version of so you can do that here you can also have a look at your provisional marks and once these marks have, have been uh, confirmed that will appear on your online mark statement as well down the bottom there is a timetables link so it will give you a uh, a view of your student timetable. Now again it's not going to put any rooms on my timetable because I'm not a student but I will show you a similar um, timetable on my staff view. So this is what it will look like to you. Now the timetables by default are set up to a week view so you need to go to the week where you know you've got sessions running and you can see here the timetable now has sessions um, running. The different colors just mean the different type of sessions so don't really pay too much attention to that. The information that you do need is the room number and obviously the time that the sessions are running. So we can see the room here it says ECB 01.09B and what this basically means is the first bit is the, the prefix is, is to do with the building that it's in. So ECB means Edith Cavell Building. Uh, you may be in Arts, you might be in the Edu Building, uh, it could be on any building across the, the university campus. The O1 means the level which the room is on, so O1 actually means underground, 0 is ground floor, 1 is first floor, to second floor, so on and so forth. And then a point and then it, the O9 is the room on that level. Okay. So I can see I'm O1 underground in room O9B. There are, isn't actually too much more information on this timetable, so it doesn't tell me actually what the session is. So to find that out, I need to go on to the other calendar, which I showed you earlier in the quick link section. 
so if I click on the calendar icon here it will redirect me to my personal calendar and I, here I can see my instructor has put in information about the sessions that I am taking part in so if I just click on a session it will actually give me the session content and who the lecturer is as well and also again what time it is but it doesn't have the room code so to find the information you either need to go on your personal calendar in the quick link section or back to your um, module calendar which will give you the room code and information that's a basic overview of just some of the features of Blackboard um, enough to get you started as you can see there's lots of different sections to Blackboard that you need to get yourself familiar with so please do take some time to have a look through